Hey, all right, let me walk you through everything you need to know to get your first plane together. So I am on the forum page. I'm just on a, a plane page. I'm just on the F-22 page. This is gonna work for every one of our planes, no matter which one you got. So first thing to note is down here is where you get the plans and they're gonna be sent instantly to your computer. They're a digital download. You'll have the file, keep it forever, build as many of these planes as you want. So what we usually do is we get those right away. That way you can start on printing out the paper, taping it together, cutting out on foam if you've got foam, and then start on your list. Now there is a little investment of time. The first time you do this, you kinda gotta find, you know, what parts do you want? Which deals are gonna be best for you? Where do you live? You know, if you're in Australia, it's gonna be different from a guy who's in New York. Don't worry about it. We all do it because it's worth it in the long run. The way it works is like this. It's got a list of what you need specifically, and then down here, here's where you wanna go, the master parts list, and it's gonna have have a list of everything you need so motors there's four different links to get motors which one do you get whichever one you like check them all because sometimes they have deals of the week or whatever and also know we specifically designed everything to be very mix and matchable meaning all these parts are going to work on all the different planes so that's the idea you buy all these electronics one time you transfer them over save a lot of money all you're out is the ten dollars worth of foam when you've crashed the plane to death finally run out of glue and also know everything's very interchangeable do know that the closer you stay to our specific recommended stuff 2200 kv any one of these guys on the list you are going to be 95 percent the best you can be because these are the these are the parts and the sizes that we actually use what you see using in our videos one other area to note is your radio you're going to want to spend a little bit of time researching a radio because this is something you want to keep for a couple years you don't want to get a cheap radio something's going to go out on you or you're going to have to replace in six months from now but but I also have to note that now that it's the future, some of the cheaper radios, they're actually starting to work good. Because that's such a moving curve of technology, that is something I would ask a question about in the threads. Servos are very not picky. You can get cheap servos, high quality servos, the plane's still gonna fly just fine. So it's very opposite of the radio. Uh, and notice gyros and mixers are not mentioned in the list here. So you don't need those. These are just for upgrades and fancy stuff, you know, save that till next summer. Charger, do spend a little bit of time researching which charger is best for you because the better the charger, the longer it's gonna make your batteries last, meaning your batteries won't wear out in a year or so. They'll last two or three years because they're getting properly balanced. Uh, the foam can be a little bit expensive, and I would recommend going to Lowe's if you can and getting blue core, or it's called fan fold foam, it's insulation foam, and starting with that for your first plane or two. It's not the best foam, but you know what? You're going to smash this thing up a little bit anyways. Then once you get it figured out, then get some nicer Depron. And we also have it listed, so, you know, five sheets of uh, Depron. How many planes does that make? That's going to make a couple planes plus repairs. We have it errored on the side of slightly more because you're going to cut out a part wrong. You're going to break the nose off. You're going to go, oh, man, I wish I had uh, a few more square inches of foam. Uh, the list recommends two carbon tubes at a meter length. Again, I would buy uh, a little bit more rather than a little bit less. You don't want to be three inches short. With the glue, I like to build my planes with five minute epoxy and repair and reinforce them with hot glue. I'll show you that in a minute. Control horns, never have enough of those, never have enough of these motor mounts, and never have enough of these push rods. So err on the side of a little bit more. It'll tell you exactly how many you need. One motor mount. No, don't get one. You need one, but you know, get a couple because uh, you're going to break that. This tape is really good. They have it at your local Walmart, and it's got this super sticky, and it's got the uh, uh, threads in it. It's, it's really strong, and you, that's what you're using to tape your elevator down to. And uh, that stays on. Uh, razor blade, don't hurt yourself. So take a look here down the bottom of the F-22 page or whatever page you're on. It's going to have instructions. And let me just show you that real quick. So look at that. I mean, it's pretty simple. There's your carbon rod inside the wing, all glued down. This is where I like to put a little bead of hot glue. Just kind of reinforce those little hinges and gaps there. There's your motor mount. There's your cheap servos. There's your push rods, uh, speed control. That's it. So there is a lot of room for error, and this plane will still push itself through just fine. So that's the idea. It's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time to pick through your parts. First time, once you get that over with, it's real easy. That's how guys are building planes so fast. Do leave a question either in, any, in either one of these threads. It doesn't really matter or in the question area and be as specific as you can. And that's it. It's just a step at a time. Get the plans first, start cutting away, parts come in, start installing the plane. And before you know it, you're flying around at your local park. Oh, and one other thing, if you have any little micro questions, as we all do along the way, that's what the ultimate RC course is for. It's step-by-step -step with great detail, every single thing you need to know. So any other questions, that's what you wanna pick up.